You are watching the Los Angeles Lakers Report by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. In today's show, we're going to look ahead to Game 2. We're going to talk about Anthony Davis. Stephen A. Smith says this series is already over. Then we're going to talk about Ja Morant and his injury update. We're going to look ahead to Game 2. Everything you need to know about the series we're talking about in today's show. And that's why you should share this video to all of your Lakers fans, friends, but uh, let's share it to Twitter. Click the share button right below me. Select the Twitter icon. Click post to Twitter and tag me on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. I'm going to give everyone that tags me over there a retweet and a follow back. So share the video, click Twitter, post it to Twitter, and tag your boy at Marshall Green underscore. <coughs> Let's start with Ja Morant. Could he not be playing in game two? Look, the hand injury that happened in the fourth quarter did not look uh, good for Ja Morant. You're probably asking why we're talking about this. Well, we're talking about the Lakers, and this is a big part of this series. Here was a picture of him at practice. You see him right underneath the basket inside the paint, and he's got a big cast on his hand. He seemed to be in a lot of pain, and I'm sure he'll try to tough it out and play again, but there's no way he's going to be 100%, and there's no way he's going to be able to drive recklessly like he does to the cup with that hand, bracing his fall as well as being worried about it being hacked and whacked by maybe AD or Jared Vanderbilt. This, was our, this is what our buddy Sham Sharanya had to say about the update. He said, Ja Morant had a soft tissue bruise and is a game time decision for game two versus the Los Angeles Lakers. That is what Taylor Jenkins says. Whether he plays or not, I don't think he's gonna be at his best and the Los Angeles Lakers, they have to take advantage of this. You're already up 1-0. You already stole home court advantage. And if you get to play another hurt and beat up and bruised Memphis Grizzlies team without Ja Morant, the Lakers have to smell the blood in the water and take advantage of this and make this 2-0 heading back to LA. Ja Morant was solid before he went down in that fourth quarter, but the Lakers didn't win because Morant got hurt. They were winning when he did end up leaving this ball game. I, I thought the Lakers made it tough on him. Yes, he got his 18 points, which is obviously below his scoring average, but they made him work for every single bucket. Uh, six turnovers. When you have an assist to turnover ratio of two to six, that means the defense is usually doing something right. Morant had his flashy plays, but Vanderbilt did a good job, in my opinion, of guarding John Morant. After the first couple possessions, I was worried because Morant was out in the fast break. He was getting downhill. Nobody in front of the Lakers, no one on the Lakers could stop, stay in front of. Uh, John Morant, but Vanderbilt he ended up picking up on some traits and some tendencies that Morant had, and he just sat down in that chair really the last 30 minutes of this ball game before Ja got hurt and did a good job on him. And then you had AD protecting the cup behind him. So it's going to be tough for Ja. He's going to have to beat Vanderbilt off the bounce, get active in pick and rolls, and then try to find a way to score around the rim with AD protecting it. This defense for the Lakers has been special, and I think that that's going to be a key, and we'll talk about that coming up a little bit more. But do you think John Morant is going to play again this series? I think he does. Uh, I doubt he'll be 100%, but look, this is your chance to weigh in. Let me know. Type Y for yes, type N for no, sound off for me. And if we get some more news and updates around John Morant or anything and revolving around this series or involving this series, we're going to continue to put out videos surrounding the Lakers every day leading up until this series. Hit that sub button, sub for Lakers dubs. We're getting closer and closer to 50,000 subs on the channel. Become one of us and subscribe to the channel. Anthony Davis, I thought, was playing some of the best basketball of his career really down the stretch, and that bled into game one for the Lakers. And if the Lakers want to make a run in the playoffs, Anthony Davis has to be, if not their best player, their second best player, or their 1A to their 1B with King James. I mean, when you look at what Anthony, Anthony Davis did, he could not be stopped. And he really had his way in the regular season against the Memphis Grizzlies as well. Averaged over 20 rebounds in the contest this year. Didn't get to 20 rebounds, but he was all over the glass with 12 in this ball game, 22 points, seven blocked to shots. He was everywhere. I liked the weak side defense from Anthony Davis as well. Um, and he was 10 to 17. He was official. Uh, official, efficient. Anthony Davis, he played a really, really good game, and I thought that was a key factor for the Los Angeles Lakers. I know Jaron Jackson Jr. may have won Defensive Player of the Year, 
But Davis got the best of him on that end. And I think everyone was reminded that when Anthony Davis is locked in, plugged in and healthy. He is the best of the best when it comes to being an interior defender. And then his ability to show off that switch ability and that versatility out on the perimeter is why he is a top five defender in the NBA. He didn't win DPOY, but uh, I think he made a bigger impact on defense in one game than Jaron Jackson Jr. did. So it begs the question, who is the better defender? Who's the guy that you'd rather have on your team defending the cup is it JJJ or just JJ type JJJ? Jimmy Johns, that's what that reminds me of. Or Anthony Davis type AD. Sound off for me down below. Our good old buddy, old pal, Stephen A. Smith did what he did best and fired off a hot take. And he said, it's over. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. He said after the Lakers took game one of the series, Stephen A. declared the series is done in favor of the Los Angeles Lakers. Look, I think the Lakers can and probably will win this series, but long way to go. Just game one. Long series ahead. And we'll talk more about it, but first, make sure you guys have your gear and you're rocking it for the playoffs. We got some hats on sale. Some over 60% off. Go to chatsports.com slash Lakers hat. They have a style for everybody's swag. Get your hat today and save some cheddar while doing it. 60% off. Save some bones. Go to chatsports.com slash Lakers hats. That is chatsports.com slash Lakers hats. That link is in the comments and description as well as, uh, yeah, comments and description of today's video. This was the full quote from good old Stephen A. He said, this series is over. As far as I'm concerned, the Lakers are winning this series. I think it's done. The bottom line is, I thought that Memphis had a chance to probably win this series in seven games. It was going to take a Ja Morant being the star to pull it off, but I believed he's that kind of star that could have done it. They have no chance, as far as I'm concerned now, with Steven Adams out, with Brandon Clark out, and then to lose Ja Morant too, that is just entirely, entirely too much to overcome. Well, the odds says it is hard to overcome a 0-1 series lead. Since 1970, there have been 274 first round matchups and the teams that took a 1-0 series lead in those matchups went on to win the series 79% of the time. If you win game two, you go up 2-0, those chances and those percentages skyrocket to over 90%. Winning game one, I like the Lakers' chances. You've got home court advantage in your favor. You put a little bit of fear into the hearts of the Grizzlies. They realize, yeah, we were the fun team during the regular season, but they got two bad dudes over there in LeBron, Damon, LeBron James and AD. But if the Lakers win game two, I love the Lakers chances and if the game, Lakers win game two I'll, I'll go out on a limb and say it Lakers are going to win this series you don't win 2-0 go up 2-0 and head back home for game three and game four and lose it I like the Lakers uh to win this series probably but you can really convince me you win tonight that's that's really going to be the straw that stirs the drink so I'll ask this question what do you think no one cares about what I think I care about what you think will the Lakers win this series light up the comment section type dub as in w for win, type those L's if you think the Lakers are going to catch that L. Round one, game two is set for Wednesday, April 19th at 4.30 Pacific time. Uh, total over under if you're a betting man is 227 and a half. And the Grizzlies enter as favorites in this one by just a point and a half, which is low if you think about it. Um, I think Vegas knows that John Morant might not be playing or definitely not going to be at 100%. If that's the case, my key to this game is impose your will on the defensive side of the court strap up the grizz take that defensive intensity and that defensive ability that you showcased all year long and specifically in game one and take it to another stratosphere if the memphis grizzlies are going to have to survive without john morant or survive with a hobble john morant that is a golden opportunity for the Lakers to shut the door and show why they're the best team in the NBA. Memphis is going to struggle to score without Ja. Tyus Jones is a great backup point guard, the best in the business when it comes to assist and turnover ratio, but he's not the bucket getter that Ja Morant is. He isn't the guy that can create in the half court off the bounce and get to the cup and create for others as well. Good player, but he ain't Ja Morant. And if they don't have Ja, 
This defense for the Lakers, they need to take over this series and make it really tough for them. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Remember, subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with everything around the Los Angeles Lakers. We'll continue to put out videos. Sub for Lakers dubs. And uh, you guys have a good one. We'll see you later. Appreciate you watching.